Hello everybody, welcome to another AFK Journey video. Today, I wanted to go over something really quick. It's the... We're, we got shown a whole big list of the new things coming to AFK Journey in the Song of Strife. Uh, so let's go over it right off the bat. Uh, first off, we have a 7-day login, and pretty much all we know about the 7-day login is it's all really good. It's the, the premium banner uh, pulls. Uh, for the for the character specific one where it's just like one character on the banner um, I can't remember what that's called uh, the featured character banner I think and then we have this chest and this is the chest for a five-star selector uh, five-star selector is what I would call it another uh, gotcha um, it would be the s rank selector so we get a free s rank character um, at the end of the seven days I would assume just like in the last one and that is very exciting not only that, but once you complete the main, once we complete the main quest line in the uh, the new uh, zone that is going to be added in the expansion, where you're going to get a hero skin for Brutus. Now I don't own Brutus, but this is a pretty badass looking skin. It looks pretty cool. I'm excited for everybody that does have Brutus. I heard that he got a pretty insanely cool looking skin uh, in AFK Arena too. So that's really exciting. Um, as for that, uh, we have a seasonal update, new stages for AFK challenges and legend trial, uh, season rewards in the dream realm and the new primal Lord and more. Now I'm excited to see what the new primal Lord looks like. I would assume it's going to be themed towards the zone. Um, and it's going to be in that late game area of the game. So it's, you know, it's time to continue grinding and, and doing what we do. Um, as for new stages for AFK challenges, uh, I'm not nearly at the cap for AFK challenges. I mean, okay, I guess I guess I'm further along than I'm not. I think the AFK current cap is a little above a thousand. So I'm nowhere near that yet. I'm like 750 or whatever I'm at. Uh, 749. I'm stuck on 750. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna make it there. But if I do, that's nice that they added more. Uh, because that just means you know the higher we get in AFK uh, levels, the higher uh, rewards that we get for the daily uh the more you know per hour rewards that we can get um i'm excited for the new stuff in the dream realm i really hope there's a new boss uh for some reason it shows king croaker maybe because they didn't want to show us the new boss yet uh but i'm really excited for that and then also the tower i don't know what they could add to the tower maybe just more floors on top of wherever they're at right now uh, since it seems like the game is adding some upward progression with a whole new area and a new, you know, Dream Realm boss and then higher if the AFK stages will go higher. Um, I would assume that they're just going to add more on top of the Legend Trial Towers, which is really good for people who are high up. Legend Trial is a really, really, really good place in the game to get a lot of bottleneck resources, such as, I mean, you get some pulls. But that's probably the least exciting thing in there, which, you know, says a lot. Pools are really great. Um, it gives the gear. It, it gives you uh, the stuff that you can use to upgrade gear and the hero focus. And it gives uh, the most important thing, the essence, the purple dust. That is a massive bottleneck resource. The most bottleneck resource in the entire game, in my opinion. So here's a look at the new map. Uh, it's just a, you know, it's just a... Oh, okay, there's a few fr uh, frames. This is going to be the new zone that we get to explore, that we get to go into. This is going to be pretty exciting. Looks pretty cool. I like the bones. I like the desert. This town that has, like, all these little, like, path uh, ways with the wood. I, I really like that, too. So I'm excited to get this new map and get this new area. Um, I believe I'm currently in uh, the mountains part four right now. So... Uh, yeah, I, I'm just excited to, you know, see more of what they have cooking up. Um, hopefully I will be able to, you know, before this patch releases, actually make it to the part where I'm just waiting for this area to come out. Uh, as for new heroes, they're adding two new hero heroes. This one's going to be Alsa. I don't know if either of these heroes are going to be A slash S rank. Um, I would assume at least one of them, if not both of them is going to be on that uh, limited time banner. Um, 
the limited time banner would make sense if we're getting two characters revealed because in the opening patch, right, we had Vala's banner, right? Vala was the first character on the on the guaranteed banner. And then she went away and she went to the normal banner and then uh Florabelle came out. So that's two characters. And then I would assume the next character to come out is going to be a part of this big uh patch. So I would assume either Alsa or Soren will start the banner and then maybe after whichever one starts will come the other one. Um that would be kind of crazy for two new S rank Mauler heroes. I personally think Mauler between a uh, Smokey and Mirky, uh Entendre being insane and Odie being like the best marksman in the game. I think it is absolutely nuts that Mahler is getting the two new characters. I think that any other, pretty much any other class could use it more than them. Especially, I believe Graveborn, in my opinion, need a healer that act or need a support that actually does something. I think that it it is so painful having to use um, Nibu or I can't even remember his name. Honestly, he's so irrelevant. Anyway. We're going to be talking about, uh, next up, Season Magical uh, Magic Charm. I believe this is like seasonal progression now that we're going to get into. New Magic Charms will soon be available. Collect the Fantastic Charms to unlock uh, new, new effects and extra set bonuses that will empower your hero like never before. So, I'm not sure exactly what this is. This is obviously something completely new. Uh, so, let's look, at other, some, let's look at other seasonal progression systems. Because there's not really much we can say on this. It looks like maybe uh, this green heart up here is like plus HP, uh, maybe this one is plus spell damage or haste or something. Maybe this one, actually this one would probably be haste because it's a uh, hourglass or like a cooldown reduction of some sort. I don't know exactly. So I don't really have much to say here, um, but yeah. And I don't know if this will be a permanent thing staying, if charms will be permanent. Uh, that would be really, really cool. I hope actually it is because, I don't know, it says season magic charm. And then it says seasonal progression, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, I guess season artifact, you know. Okay, okay, okay. All right, yeah. Let's go to uh. Let's go. Let's look at this. Empower your heroes by increasing their season level, uh, unlocking their seasonal skills, and arming them with season equipment. This, in my opinion, is it. It. Whenever you just read it, it seems like a lot. Like, okay. I'm I'm a big permanent progression guy. Um, I like when expansions are just add permanent progression into the game. And I'm not the biggest fan of like, oh, farm this up all season. And then at the end of the season, it just goes away and gets replaced with something new for the next season. I'm not a big fan of that at all. And also, this just seems like a lot. Uh, seasonal levels uh, on top of already having like you know normal character levels and resonance levels and stuff like that now you have seasonal levels seasonal skills that unlock with those levels uh seasonal equipment season charms which is a whole new thing now now we're also getting a new artifact for the season or actually it looks like weirdly enough it looks like multiple new things or maybe this is just i don't know um that would be really nice if the 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 new season came added a new artifact to the game uh for like completing the zone that's added with the season and then after the season goes away yes the uh the seasonal skill level and equipment and charm would go away but whatever artifact they would add stays in the game along with the zone and obviously the characters um i think I will be happy with this if enough stays after it's gone. If all of this is going to be like, obviously the character is going to stay in the game and probably the zone is going to stay in the game. I would say it's like a 99% chance. I cannot imagine how dumb they would have to be to take, to, to add an entirely new zone into the game and then just say, now that was dumb. Um, you know, obviously the new higher AFK stage is going to be in the game, but I really hope that, whatever dream realm boss comes with the season it just the new season comes the patch comes and it just permanently adds a new boss um themed to that season of course but 
it permanently in the rotation of the Dream Realm bosses. And then on top of that, we get a new artifact permanently in the, you know, to select from in the artifacts list. And I would hope that, uh, yeah, at least the artifact, the zone, the skin, the characters, uh, all that is permanent in the Dream Realm boss. I, I think I'm actually kind of really excited for the Dream Realm boss. I think that's one of my most, I love that about the game, the Dream Realm bosses. I, I fucking love that shit. Um, I love like the different strategies that you have to have for each boss. So I really hope if they add a new boss theme to the season, after the season goes away, it stays in the game as like a reminder of, oh yeah, that's the Song of Strife boss. That's really cool. Uh, and then it's just like a rotation of five bosses. And then the next season comes months down the road and it adds a sixth boss to the rotation. I don't see why that would be a problem. All right, Supreme Arena. Uh, so this is going to be a new cross server multi-team arena. So you're going to need multiple teams to compete in this. Looks like three teams is what we're seeing here. Um, this reminds me of Tag Team Arena from Raid Shadow Legends. Obviously, I didn't play AFK Arena. This might be an AFK Arena, and most of the stuff will probably have been in AFK Arena for ages. I don't have that to compare to. I know a few games that I can't compare to, and um, Raid is one of them. Personally, I don't really like uh, Tag Team Arenas. They just take too long, in my opinion. I think they're cool, but they do take a while, in opinion, in my opinion. Um, I think that if actually, I think my main problem with raid is that you have to do like a billion different things as a part of your dailies. And then it's like, Oh yeah, you need to do your arenas and then you get your daily arena refresh. And then you do your arenas again. And then you do your tag 10 matches of triple tag team arenas. And then you get your 10 arena and then you get your arena refresh bag. And then you have to do 10 more triple bat. Like it's insane. Um, I'm not about it. Dura's Trials. This looks kind of cool, what I'm seeing in the second screen. Looks like maybe you challenge things and you get rewards just for doing different stages. You pick a list of heroes that you want to use, almost like battle drills in a way. Um, interesting. Take on Dura's Trials for a diverse gameplay experience and earn magic char charms. Now, this is where the Seasonal Magic Charm comes into play, so that would be pretty cool. Um, this honestly does look like a pretty neat piece of content. Like, I just, maybe I just like the UI. Like, obviously, looking at this, you can barely tell anything about it. It looks like it has, like, stages and rewards, and I like gameplay like that, mostly. Uh, all right, new mini games. I am not big fans at all of the mini games. Um, okay, it looks like this has the, uh, the puzzle icon. So that seems kind of cool. I'm not a big fan of the, uh, you walk up and you do like the different kind of battle challenges for different mobs. I actually dislike those quite a bit. So I honestly don't care about this pretty much at all. Um, but as for actual content that's coming with this, uh, update, it looks to be pretty insane. Like this is an insane amount of content for the first big major patch expansion of afk journey i'm really excited for it and i hope you guys are too if you like the video subscribe and like it if you dislike it hey it is what it is but i hope you didn't um, i'm going to be posting more afk journey content in the future along with weathering waves when it comes out in the middle of this month it is now uh the right now when i'm recording this it is the first of may uh weathering waves comes out this month uh honkai star rail is obviously as good as it's ever been um, unfortunately, this is a bit of a dry patch for Honkai Star Rail for me in terms of characters, but as for content and gameplay, you're going to be seeing just about the same amount of content there. Um, yeah, thank you all for watching. Peace.